What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over how to install and use the Brewery Minecraft plugin. If you're looking for a way to entertain your friends on your server, you might be looking for plugins to add in. One of these options is called Brewery, allowing players to create many different drinks. The majority of them are alcoholic beverages that apply status effects on characters simulating being drunk. The player's vision gets distorted, sometimes being encased in darkness as you stumble around. This is a wonderful way to have fun with others on your Minecraft server, especially when there's plenty more this plugin has to offer. Head to the Brewery plugin on Spigot, and in the top right corner, press the Download Now button, and then save this file somewhere easily accessible to use in just a minute. To start the server installation, first make sure you're running a server that is plugin compatible and that it matches the version of the plugin you downloaded. After that, stop the server and head towards the FTP file access and click on it. Log in and then enter the plugins folder and then click upload in the top left corner. And on the next page, drag and drop the brewery file into the upload area. Once it reaches 100%, you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel and restart the server. By default, players cannot create alcoholic beverages due to the plugin's design. Due to this, you'll either want to become a server operator or assign permission nodes to users and groups, which you can do by downloading a managing plugin like LuckFirms. Here is a list of some of the most important permissions and commands, but you can also use the permissions wiki to learn more. Most of the resources required to get started are fairly common in the world, but they can be tedious to obtain. For example, gathering lots of apples or cocoa beans involves you traveling to specific biomes and spending time farming these items. Other materials such as blaze powder for distilling alcohol forces you to enter the nether dimension, so some of these resources might take some time to get. Once you've obtained your resources, craft and place down a cauldron to fill it up with water. This serves as the foundation for making drinks since you need to add or combine the materials inside. We strongly recommend reviewing the recipe wiki guide for this plugin to gain a better understanding of what's possible and what you might need to create. For instance, right-clicking the cauldron with wheat allows you to make beer, but first you'll need a fire underneath the cauldron, and then you'll right-click it with the clock to start the boiling process. Once enough time has passed, simply right-click the cauldron with empty glass bottles to obtain your new beverage. These starter drinks are technically consumable, but the job isn't quite finished yet. Some recipes require you to distill or age the alcohol, leading to a higher quality level. The longer you do this, the more alcohol potential your beverage shows. Improperly doing this results in lower quality beverages, leading to more downsides to consuming it. If your recipe needs distilling, then make sure to have a brewing stand nearby. Power this up with blaze powder and then use glowstone in the main item slot. Afterwards, place your drinks inside and wait for it to finish. Once you're done, a new beverage will appear, but repeating this process can increase its potential. Rather than distilling, players can place down wooden stairs to make custom barrels. Afterwards, attach a sign at the bottom with the word barrel somewhere on it. This should send a chat message to your character signifying that you successfully created it. When you're at this point, right-click the sign to open its GUI menu for you to transfer drinks inside of it. This process does take a while, and you'll be waiting a long time before your beverages transform into other types or a higher quality level. After successfully making your drinks, try them out in-game to see the effects. There's some special effects for specific beverages while also having some universal ones. For example, reduced visibility is always applied at first and it goes away shortly after. Another one is becoming nauseated or becoming poisoned. That being said, the amount of time they last depends on how much you drink and its quality level. Players can see how drunk they are by gauging the bar and star icons near your hotbar. After too many beverages are consumed, you'll be unable to drink anymore. Another interesting effect after drinking too much is when players send messages in the chat. Depending on how many beverages you consumed, it can completely become unrecognizable to others. 
This is an extremely fun feature from the brewery plugin as anyone can instantly know when you're drunk. As for the different types of beverages to consume in your Minecraft world, there's quite a few options and some of them aren't even based on alcohol. For example, coffee or potato soup are options to choose from. These types of drinks grant the player with more beneficial status effects compared to the alcoholic beverages. That being said, the majority of them, such as vodka, rum, wine, and others, are the main purpose of the plugin. As for configuring the plugin to make adjustments, you'll need to access the main config file in the FTP panel. At around line 430, you'll notice a custom drink to tweak. This will give you the power to make more of them if you want, so make sure to copy and paste accordingly, and then edit anything you want for the process. Remember, the brewery plugin has an official wiki that gives you more information on all of these features, and we will have that linked down below. Head to the FTP file access and log in, and then hit into the plugins and brewery pathway. After this, find and press edit to the right hand side of the config YML file, make any necessary changes in the editor, and then click save at the top, and then return to the main panel and restart the server to apply the edits. Now, before we jump into the common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. If you're trying to make beverages on your Minecraft server and you notice that it's not working, make sure you have the correct permission nodes assigned to your account or group. Remember, this is done by using LuckPerms or another managing plugin. Alternatively, you could become a server operator, which gives you complete control and access to everything right away. If you can't create custom drinks, tweaking the configuration file to make custom beverages requires you to follow an exact format. We recommend copying and pasting the recipe in the file to make sure everything is formatted correctly. After doing this, make sure to save on the file editor near the top of the page and restart the server. Brewery is just a fun way to add something new to your Minecraft world. And while it doesn't help you progress in the story at all, it's a great way to add some fun to your game and your players will have a lot of fun experimenting with all of the different options. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.